Hi, everyone. Uh, so today in this video, we will introduce how I implement for the second project. The second project, it has two parts, two assignments. The first part is about the side clock synchronization, clock synchronization. And uh, specifically here, we discuss about Berkeley algorithm for clock synchronization. The second part is the multicasting ordering. And uh, it asks for two versions. So I actually, I did FIFO ordering and uh, casual ordering. So first of all, in this part, we will focus on the Berkeley algorithm. And uh, all my implementation are based on Ubuntu with C++. So uh, before we dive into the implementation details, I want to review the backend, the background knowledge. If you don't know what it is, or you don't feel familiar about that, I encourage you to read these sections first. So for clock synchronization, uh, which is one of most important issues in distributed system. And uh, there are two popular clock synchronization algorithm. The first is Christian algorithm, which is actually connected to a universal time coordinator to negotiate what time it is. And the second popular algorithm is Bokoni algorithm. Uh, this is what I implemented for this project today. And uh, for the details of Bokoni algorithm, uh, it almost, and I think this picture, it almost includes all the details of this algorithm. So first we need a time server or someone called time diamond. It asks all other nodes in this distributed system, hey, what's your local clock time? Tell me. And all other nodes in this distributed system, they will answer to this time server to tell it what's their local clock times. And after receiving the local clock times of all those nodes, the time server, it will calculate what's the average value of the clock times of everyone. And after that, it will also calculate what's the adjustment of set for each node and send back this adjustment value to each node, ask them to adjust. And then everyone will have the same clock. This is the basic idea. And this is also the, uh, what we will to do when programming. So when we go to the implementation details, I want to mention that and uh, this is also a server client structure. It's a peer-to-peer -peer socket programming. It's kind of similar to what we did in the first project. It's actually this project, a uh, uh, multi-user bank account management. Uh, if you haven't go through this one, I encourage you to read this uh, GitHub report and it helps you to understand the socket programming, the basic socket programming using peer-to-peer -peer communication. Uh, but the difference is in the project one, we have, we create one thread for the client communication. So one thread for each client. And, but here in, Bokoni algorithm, uh, we will implement multiple processes and uh, the time server and all other nodes, they will 
be separate processes. So the communication is inter-process communication. We, we don't use the threads communication anymore. And uh, well, uh, so let's step into your course. So I have codes here and uh, I have a server set. This is a time server. So first of all, it will build the socket as usual, or what we did in project one. And as I said, it's also peer-to-peer -peer socket programming. And after that, we set some socket options. Here we set that we will reuse the IP address and reuse we use ports to avoid some address conflict conflicts and then and then band and listen and waiting for accept waiting for connecting from clients and then send message and receive message and so on. Uh, for the client search First of all, we also need the socket, build the socket, and then we need to connect. And then uh, we can read and receive messages. In the documents of first project, I have a picture for this structure. Yes, if this one for the server, we need to go through these processes. And the command we need to build a socket to connect to send and receive. And blah, blah. So the structure will be similar like this. And then I will run it for you to show what it looks like when we run it. So let's go to the contract. Okay, because I have made that, so I don't need to make, make it again. If you want, you can make it again. Okay, it takes a few seconds, to, right. And then here, I also record the steps. If you want to write again, you should follow these steps. We run server first in the first terminal window, and then we run client in multiple terminal windows. So let's run server. Here, so the server is up, the server is listening. It asks you to open one or more terminal windows to run client. And so I open one more to run the client. This is our first client and it shows it's connected to a server. And here it also shows the first client is connected. After that, it asks you whether you have enough clients. So here you can input one for yes, zero for no, because uh, for the Berkeley algorithm, you only want three or more at least. Uh, Notes to show it, to show it to explain it. So I will input zero, and then it will continue waiting, and I will run the second command, which is the third node in this distributed system. I just push enter. So the second command is connected, and also here it will show us we have connected the second client. And it will ask us again whether we have enough clients. I want more, so I input zero and push enter. And then I will have one more client, I push enter. So the third client is connected. It also shows the third client are connected. And it asks us again, uh, do we have enough clients? Here, I think I'm enough, so I will input one and I push enter. So, and uh, it finished everything, it's very quick. Let's go back a little bit to see what it did. So here, I input one to tell the time server, hey, I have enough hands, so you can begin the Brooklyn algorithm. 
and then uh, it ensures all those clients have been connected and then it send a message to the first client and it received a response. Uh, it say, hey, please tell me your local clock venue. And uh, the first client, it responds that my local clock venue is nine. And uh, the server will uh, ensure that it received. Similarly, it will send a message to send a message to the second command. Hey, what's your local clock value? And the second command, it replies that my local clock is seven. And similar is the third command. So the third command local clock value is three. And at this, um, after it received all those three replies from all the three clients, it will calculate the average value of all four nodes, including your time server. Uh, it will calculate the average value, what it is. So we have nine, seven, and three, and uh, the first, very first, the server is four. So what's the average value of four, nine, seven, three? And if you calculate, and it's uh, actually 5.75. 5. So it will send a message to each client how you should adjust. It sends an adjustment of set value. Uh, so someone is negative, someone is positive. So someone manner, someone edge. And then uh, everyone will have the same clock. So everyone will also have the same clock. From the client perspective, first of all, they connected and then they received the message from the server asking for their local clock value and it is sent back their local clock value. And then uh, it gets the adjustment of set value to adjust. After adjust, they all have same clock uh, values. So uh, you can see that in the server set, I, I do something to help me that it keep asking whether you have enough plans I use this to help me to control uh, how many process we want uh, to help us to control the number of clients. Uh, it's some like programming tricky. Otherwise, you, it's, it's hard for you to know how many process there are. And uh, I also provide this picture. If you want to visit it slowly, uh, this picture will show uh, how I design it. And uh, I also list the time. So from time one to time two, and to time three, to time four, to time five, to time six. Uh, it uh, follows the, the time floor. Okay, so this is what I did for for Kony user implementation. I hope you know something from that.